Hello, this is Joseph from Gorilla 3D. In this screencast, we'll be going over the basics of variables in PHP. All variables are started one way, with a dollar sign. Whether it's a string, an integer, a float, an array, or you're trying to assign a class to a variable, it all starts with a dollar sign. There's one exception, and I'll go over that exception later. So if we wanted to go ahead and name our variable, say like my underscore string, that's how we actually name it. Now for naming conventions, you usually want to use an underscore to separate your variables. You can also not use underscores and just capitalize each of your other words. Um, this is called uh, camel cap, camel caps and it's another useful method, but that's usually used for classes, not actually variables. So then we say equals, and just for right now, just use single quotes. I'll explain why um, later on in our next few tutorials, but for this one, just use single quotes. And then we can say, hello, world. Now, what if we want to actually access our variable named hello, world? or that has hello world inside of it we can do something like echo and then say my string also notice that I'm using semicolons at the very end of each of my commands here you can do pretty much the same thing for uh, a number so you can say my int equals 34 or my underscore float equals 3.1 now let's say that if you want to add my int and my float together you can simply do my int plus my underscore float with a dollar sign and this should give us 74 or I'm sorry 37.1 so if we go ahead and show it here, it says 37.1. Um, now, let's say that we actually wanted to add a string together, or two strings. So let's make another string, my underscore string2 equals comma space, and then put your name. So now let's go ahead and add these together. It's, if you would think it would be something like my underscore string plus my underscore string two, but it's really not because if we go ahead and save this and refresh, it's going to give us zero rather than our combined strings. The way to do that is replace the zero or we replace the plus sign with a period to concatenate your two strings together. So if we go ahead and refresh, we get hello world, comma, Joseph. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the one way to define your actual variable without using a dollar sign. The way I'm talking about is actually using constants. With a constant, you use the define function. Each function always has the brackets because that's how they are called. And within it, we're going to give our, say, my string. So my underscore string. Now for naming conventions you usually want to keep your constants in all capitalized letters with an underscore to separate words. And again we can say hello world without the W in the front of hello. And now if we want to go ahead and use our constant instead of our my string we would without the dollar sign type my underscore string in all caps. So if we go ahead and save this and refresh our browser here, we get the same exact results. Um, there's also arrays and classes we can go over, but I'll leave that for another le lesson. One other tip that I can probably give you is that, let's say that you have a, a variable that you want to call, but you're trying to combine strings together to call that variable as in that you don't exactly know the variable name but if you put the strings together you know it but you don't know how to access it um, 
One way to do that is to use the dollar sign. Actually, I might want to put this in an echo. So let's say that we want to call my string, but we are using a string to call my string. So let's say we use the dollar sign and the curly brackets. And in curly brackets, we can have whatever you want to call it. So my underscore string. And this will actually call my string. So we go ahead and save this and refresh our browser. It just says hello world. Um, you don't try to use this to actually start defining variables. It's a really bad method to use. Um, and there's other ways to call variables other than using this, but it's a nice little shortcut. And that's pretty much it for this screencast. Um, if you want to go above and beyond, try to um, learn about some variables that I haven't specified in this tutorial. If you can do that, yeah, y'all. Yeah.